Hello, uh, welcome to this week's uh, Coin Week. I think that's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to try and uh, get that YouTube name. Okay, this week I'm going to be talking about the V Nichols. There's a Liberty Head there on the left, and then the uh, other Liberty Head on the right. So you can see the back and front of that. The Liberty Head Nickel was minted from 1883 to uh, 1912. Uh, there were a couple of 1913 ones, but um, I'm going to talk about those in a bit. Anyway, so pretty much uh, the Liberty Head Nickel or also known as the V-Nickel actually because of its big V for five. You can see it there, the V. Anyway, it was called the V-Nickel. Let's try and get that a little bit tilted. It's called the V-Nickel because of the V. There are uh, two different kinds, one with cents and one without. Um, down here on the very, very bottom, the camera would focus on it. Anyway, it says cents right there at the very bottom. Um, this was the second kind. They have uh, the the original first version, which was in 19, uh, 1983, it was without sense. And this was the original version. Uh, the design was uh, was uh, made by Charles E. Barber. Um, he was a head mint designer at the, at the time. And he designed actually a lot of the American coins. So this one was designed by Charles Barber. And on the... The very first version, it didn't have the word sense on the very bottom. So uh, right here, you can hopefully see it says E U plus unum there on the bottom. And then the second version, which was in from 1983 also, that's when they changed it. Uh, they put the word sense there at the bottom, said E U plus unum. Then they put the E U plus unum right there at the very top above my finger. So right here, they have sense, and then up here, they have the E U plus unum. Uh, the reason for this was because a lot of people, they realized that they could dip it uh, in gold and gold plate it and then pass it off as a $5 gold piece instead of 5 cents. So a lot of people started doing that and then the mint realized that and then they uh, put on the cents to keep, to keep people from doing that and passing it off as $5 pieces. The Liberty Head Nickel was made mainly because the Shield Nickel, which had which was a nickel right before it, was having a lot of uh, minting problems. It, it cost a lot to keep the stamp since it wasn't super duper simple. Um, it wasn't the easiest, simplest stamp ever. So it kind of cost a lot to really uh, keep the dies going and uh, they'd have to replace them fairly often because of the design. I say that they're minted up until 1912. Uh, there were five, actually, 1913 uh, V-nickels, and these are actually the most expensive known coins that people have bought. One of these uh, nickels, which I believe is uh, one of the most expensive coins, or the highest price they got, of all the American coins known, I'm pretty sure this is correct, was $3,737,500. This was at an auction, and this was for one of the five 1913 coins. Now, they were officially ended in 1912, but apparently, or most likely as the story goes, uh, one of the mint workers there actually snuck in at one point and minted the 1913s, which they still had the dies ready for that. So he had snuck in there and uh, minted five of them. They are sold over the years, and eventually they got split up. Two of them are owned by museums, and then the other three are in private collections. Each one of them kind of have their own story behind it. Um, I'm not going to go into that since they are pretty long stories, but they are pretty interesting. Okay, well, uh, thank you for watching. Um, I hope to see you next week. Please subscribe, and um, I'll make another one next week. Goodbye.